Real Madrid secured a narrow victory in their recent friendly match against Chelsea. This game served as the final warm-up for Carlo Ancelotti's squad before their new season officially begins with the UEFA Super Cup match against Atlanta in just over a week. After losing two previous friendlies against AC Milan and arch-rivals Barcelona, Los Blancos were determined to win against Chelsea to show their appreciation to the fans in the United States. Real Madrid fielded a lineup featuring many key players, including captain Luka Modric, the central defensive duo of Rudiger and Eder Militao, Lucas Vazquez, and the returning Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr. new signing Enric, who failed to impress in his first two appearances. Was benched for this match, on the other side, Chelsea was also eager for a good result amid questions surrounding the playing style under their new coach Enzo Maresca. The Premier League team had a clear chance to open the scoring in the fourth minute when forward Raheem Sterling received a perfectly placed cross from a teammate while unmarked. However, counting on Sterling's heading ability is risky, and predictably, this opportunity did not result in a goal for Chelsea. The first 15 minutes saw Enzo Maresca's team playing more proactively, creating several sharp attacks down both wings. However, it was Real Madrid who took the lead in the 19th minute after a simple combination, receiving the ball in midfield. Vinicius, fresh from his Copa America break, threaded a pass that sliced through Chelsea's defense. Raheem Diaz picked up the ball and passed it to the onrushing Vasquez. The Spanish player's shot was blocked, but Sabalos' follow-up secured the lead for Real Madrid. Coach Carlo Ancelotti's statements about Vinicius deserving the 2024 Ballon d'Or were clearly not just words of encouragement. Just eight minutes after his beautiful assist, the number seven of the Spanish royal team made another exquisite triple a pass for Diaz's run. This time, number 21 easily bypassed goalkeeper Jorgensen to slot the ball into the empty net. Conceding two early goals, Chelsea immediately pushed forward to search for an equalizer. In the 36th minute, Sterling sprinted down the sideline to receive the ball and crossed it in, but his teammates failed to connect. However, just three minutes later, the Blues found hope with a goal to reduce the deficit to 1-2. Captain Enzo Fernandez, upon entering the field, delivered a precise cross for striker Majewake, who outjumped the shorter Los Blancos defender Fran Garcia to head home. The remainder of the first half and the entire 45 minutes of the second half saw Real Madrid and Chelsea continuously exchange blows, but the 2-1 scoreline remained unchanged until the end of the match.